Welcome to the podcast that's been named one of the best in marketing research. This is Research Business Daily Report, and it's made possible by the exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash rbdr. I'm Bob Letterer for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. Today, RBDR is moving on to our 43rd episode of the series, Market Research in the COVID-19 Era. Of course, this series is focused on delivering to you actionable knowledge, as well as what I call transferable insights. The guest on our episode today is Digital MR CEO Michaelis Michael. He's returning to RBDR this time to emphasize what many of us probably realize but may not automatically express. To wit, marketers' dire need to win the trust and support of all their stakeholders. And there are, according to McKellis, six really important ones. Accomplishing all that, he explains, requires a coherent communication plan with those stakeholders. But let's let McKellis provide the detail. McAllis? Hello from London. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the importance of stakeholder engagement, uh, especially during these times. The world is upside down. There's no question about that. Uh, businesses are going through one of the biggest tests they have ever faced. Now, more than ever, the trust and support of all stakeholders of a business, without exception, is necessary. We all know who these stakeholders are, more or less, but allow me to list uh, the six most important groups. So we have employees, we have clients who may be consumers if you're a B2C, maybe businesses if you're a B2B. We have shareholders, vendors, the public opinion, and government. What every company should do, I repeat especially now, is devise a clear and coherent communication plan with all those stakeholders. For employees, shareholders, government, and vendors, it's a little bit easier because businesses do have direct contact. They have email addresses, they have telephone numbers, They can contact these people and they can communicate their plan during the lockdown and what happens uh, next. With customers though, especially if it's consumers and the public, uh, we need a way to know what is important to them and what questions uh, they are asking, uh, what is their sentiment, what are their challenges, and, and I think you know where I'm, I'm going with this, if you've heard any of, my, of, of the other monologues that I shared here. We need social media listening and analytics. We need social intelligence. And um, we recently did uh, started a project or a program, I should say, because it's, it's, uh, it's ongoing in a country in, uh, near, near the States, in, in Latin America, and so we're, we're, we're tracking on social media the COVID-19 conversations. And uh, what came out, which is how uh, this will, would be used in a stakeholder uh, uh, communication plan for consumers, is the following topics. And I will enumerate 13 topics, and I'm ranking them based on frequency. So the first one is the most popular topic, and it is government actions followed by conversations around healthcare, tracking the epidemic, health problems and symptoms, travel, number seven, event cancellations, home office, conversations around uh, the situation, uh, you know, working from home, school is number nine, free time activities, a lot of conversations about that, number 10, sports, number 11, or the lack of live sports events, the economy, which is a concern, and shopping, uh, number 13. Now, wh- what I found very interesting in these f- you know, first four weeks of, of tracking is that all of these topics, if you look at the sentiment, there's a net sentiment score, which is negative for all of them. But I think what is quite telling is that uh, the one with the worst score 
is free time activities with a minus 75% net sentiment score. And the best is home office with minus 2% net sentiment score. Still more on the negative side, but that's the best out of these 13 topics. And so um, that's some input to uh, a company that would like to provide some uh, uh, co communication to those uh, consumers in that country. Um, so effective and efficient uh, stakeholder engagement is, is indeed a key element to the success of any organization, especially now. For this series to continue, well, frankly, we need your input. And that means whether you're a regular viewer, an occasional viewer, even people who may be watching just for the first time today. Please partner with us by organizing your thoughts and observations about what's going on with research. And it can be any angle of the research industry, market, people, uh, tools and technologies, consumer reaction, etc. Anything that is changing because of the COVID-19 crisis. Email your impressions and feelings to me, rflbob at gmail.com. I've got a simple process that's going to transform your perspectives into a video commentary that will make you and your business proud. That's your Research Business Daily Report. It's been made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. We appreciate that many research executives, including, we think, many of you, make it a habit to watch RBDR every day. And we hope that you agree with those who tend to spend their time doing that, that Research Business Daily Report is certainly time well spent. If you do agree with that, please recommend RBDR to friends and peers. It's really simple to send one of our videos to one of those people. And we hope at the same time that you will at least consider becoming an RBDR Patreon supporter. And that means committing a monthly donation of some size, and that can be perhaps as little as $5 if you're an individual or $20 and $25 if you're a company. It can help assure RBDR's continued existence. And you can accomplish that by going to patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Frankly, the coronavirus isn't going anywhere soon, so this series has no reason to halt. And so for the foreseeable future, you'll be able to take advantage and watch market research in the COVID-19 era. We hope you have a great research day. We also hope that this turns out to be a prosperous business week for you. And we hope your weekend will hopefully be enjoyable and most important, stay safe. And then we'll see you again right here on Monday.